as I was plowing, I was just thinking about the different seasons and how we've been up here for seven months now and we've experienced every season. We got here in late spring and everything was green and vibrant and just beautiful and growing fast and having to cut the lawn all the time and you know mow the pasture and, and just all these different things that came along with that and then it turned to summer and it was hot and we were going to the lakes and the rivers and fishing and going camping and, and doing that stuff in the summer and, and then fall came and things kind of slowed down you know you're preparing to firewood and the trees are changing colors and everything's turning yellows and orange and red and it's just absolutely beautiful to drive through the country and see it in fall and now winter time and winter time is just I've never experienced snow in winter time like true winter in San Diego and winter was basically just putting on a long sleeve shirt and you could still wear shorts and sandals and so this is a completely different lifestyle change and so I was just thinking about that and the, the seasons of life and in Ecclesiastes chapter 3 it says to everything there is a season a time for every purpose under heaven and Basically for me, for us, this is a season of learning and a new lifestyle, many new challenges. You know, I gotta learn how to plow, how to plow snow, and how to prepare for winter, all the equipment and different things, you know, that you wouldn't think about preparing for winter, and how to take care of animals and freezing temperature, and all this stuff that um, I had no training on. It's just, there's a sharp learning curve. And so I just wanna ask you guys, you know, what, what season are you guys going through? What are you going through right now? Is it perhaps a season of change? A season of loss? Maybe you've lost some a loved one? A season of depression or anxiety? Or maybe just the monotony of life? And I just want to point you to some scripture that I was reading in Matthew chapter 11. Jesus says, Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. And in verse 30, he says, For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. These are such comforting words because we aren't meant to carry these burdens. And we all have burdens in life. The burden to find pleasure, the burden to succeed, the burden of meaningful relationships, the burden for purpose in this life. We aren't meant to carry these. And Jesus says, come to me with these and I will give you rest. In exchange for your burdens, I will give you rest. And he'll also give us peace. Jesus says, my peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives, do I give to you. And who doesn't want rest? Who doesn't want peace? And so if you're desiring those things today, come to Jesus. Or maybe you don't know Jesus. Maybe you've never surrendered your life to Jesus. It says in John 3, 3, that we must be born again to enter the kingdom of heaven. And so what does it mean to be born again? It simply means this. It's to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, to believe that he died on the cross for your sins. We must repent of our sins, ask him to forgive us, and believe that he died on the cross and that he rose again three days later and that Jesus is God. That's who he claimed to be. He claimed to be God. He is God. And we must believe that in our heart and confess it with our mouth. And if the Bible says, if we do those things, believe in our heart and confess with our mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord, you will be saved. It's that simple. So whatever burdens you're carrying today, bring those to Jesus and receive his rest, receive his peace, and most importantly, receive eternal life. God bless you. Thank you for watching this video. And have a wonderful day.
Thank you.